Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, in this video I want to talk about 3x3 three three training or lower rep training and tell you guys when you need to make the switch to this type of training if strength is a goal of yours. Before I get into this topic guys, I encourage you to please check out my Q&A link below. Come on over, post your questions in that Q&A link. I answer every question posted. The best questions I turn into a video just like this. Now before I get started, if, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. And if you want a muscle and broad t-shirt, the link is below. Let's talk about 3x3 three three training. I received a question from Sean Dunwell and it goes like this. Would it benefit me to do 3x3 three three on heavy lifts because my rep work is 3x12 with compound exercises and closely or exercises that closely resemble the heavy compound movement? Is it beneficial to do 3x3 three three type of training or rep work lower than 5 rep sets? Now let's, before we, I get into this topic, let's talk about the mechanisms that drive gains. When you're in about, and this is just generalizations, when you're in the rep range of about 5 to 12 reps, 5 to 12 reps, and you're pushing these sets for as many quality reps as possible, as many reps as possible, stopping a set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep, or when your form starts to break down, so you're maximizing the set and you're pushing them for as many reps as possible in that range, you're going to recruit a maximum amount of muscle fibers on that set and that's going to help you with hypertrophy or the muscle building process. Now, when you dip under, um, say you're training above 85, you're training uh, about 85, 90% and um, you're doing lower rep sets, when you do this, the body is going to call into play a, a near maximal amount of muscle fibers right out of the gate because of the um, intensity of the weight. So when you're up at this level, your body is going to recruit the maximal amount of muscle fibers because it senses something is going on. When you're in this range, you, when you're performing sets in this range, like say you're performing an 8 to 10 rep set of barbell rows, the first couple of reps are rather easy, but as you grow fatigued, they get more and more challenging, so your body is going to call into play more muscle fibers to move that weight. Now the question is, do you need to switch to lower rep sets or sets under five reps? Do you need to do things like three by three? The answer is not for a very, very long time. Muscle building and strength building, the bulk of your strength building, if strength building is your primary goal, the bulk of strength should be built in this rep range, should be built in these rep ranges. You do not, as a beginner, intermediate, as a lifter in their first several years, three, four, five years of lifting, really have to do low rep sets to build strength. You are going to build strength in these ranges. I recommend Again, pushing sets for as many reps as possible and adding weight to the bar when it makes sense. This will, you will build a steady and consistent amount of strength this way and you will build a quality amount of muscle mass which will help you maximize the strength building process. You should only switch to things like 3x3s and 5x2s and 5x3s and things like that when you are pretty damn strong, when you have reached a level where you're outperforming 90 to 95% of the bros in the gym and you can wake up and look in the mirror and go, I am pretty damn strong. Now what is this pretty damn strong strength level? Well that's going to vary from lifter to lifter, but I will say if you're only benching 225 to 245 to maybe even 265, you should still be doing rep work in this range because you're not close to a 300 pound bench press yet you still should be focusing on this type of rep range if your deadlifts are under 400 or 450 pounds you know you don't need to be doing singles doubles and triples unless it's rest pause style but that's a topic for a different video squats um, if your squat is under 400 pounds you really don't need low rep sets 
If you're over 400 pounds on your squat, rep, uh, squat max, then it might be beneficial to switch to something like a 3x3. Three three. So as you get close to a 300 pound bench press, as you get close to um, a squat, as your squat reaches that 400 level, then you might want to consider using lower rep sets to help you push the strength envelope. Until you reach that point, your, most of your energy should be put into sets in this rep range. Again, that'll help you maximize muscle, and, and that will, it'll allow you to build strength, and allow you to build more strength over the long run. Um, you check any of the uh, reputable coaches online, they're gonna back me on this. A lot of guys believe that they need to, if let's say they've been bro lifting for a couple years and they get the bug to do some strength training, they believe that they need to switch to lower rep sets to build strength. They need to make some programming change. All they really need to do is stay the course but focus on making these sets count. I did this for 20 years before I did any um, sets under five reps and I built a Herculean amount of strength. So this is what I recommend. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, again, hit up my Q&A link below. If you made this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do, I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.